Linda aka The Gamer Girl here and today we're going to have my Nintendo Switch collection on display. It's short, it's simple, but I can't keep waiting for a limited run to make this video because I wanted to get all my like, collection out but sadly I just kept waiting and it didn't happen. So we're gonna dive right in and start this little bad boy. So the first game is River City Girls. This was one of the first games that I got on my Nintendo Switch. Thank you, Die Hard Gamer Bros. It's a fun game. Definitely check it out if you're into beat em ups. I know that there's a hidden boss, so definitely take your time with that one. First game that I beat on January in way, now it feels like a long time ago, but yeah. One of the first games and j -Love got this for me. Thank you, sis. It is a great game. Got some retro, like, you know, elements to it. It's a fun time. Now this one, I got a hint from Biohazard Mike. He told me to pick up this one and it's definitely worth a try. Um, there is mechanics in there that are a little confusing or hard to difficult to figure out, but once you get it going, it's worth your time to try out. It scared the crap out of me for sure. The next game was actually the very first game that I got for my Nintendo Switch and I didn't pay for it. I won it from Pixel Game Squad and that is Starlink. Doesn't, doesn't, you know, Battle for the Atlantis was, you know, nothing like what I thought it was going to be. Definitely a fun time though. This game is Friday the 13th. Sadly they churned off the servers but I still play with some buddies until the game no longer works anymore. But Great fun time every Sunday. The next game on the list is from my buddy T-Belly. This one is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I am still trying to get through this game. I'm trying to figure out how to get through the mines without burning all the time. If you can help me out, what do I do? Now this game I have on the Xbox and that is Dead by Daylight. Um, Not as fun as Friday the 13th, but it's still a good time if you get the Silent Hill pack. Follow that up with, I got Cooking Mama, Cooking Star, before <laughs> they got all of them and just now you, you find a lot of people that are selling it for like 60, 70 bucks, but I'm glad I got it for the price that it was asked for. Retail is the way to go. Next game on the list is Animal Crossing New Horizons. This game has been a godsend, basically. I cannot you know, go a day without playing at least five minutes of it. I mean, yes, I have slowed down on playing on the game, but it's still a good time. I have been trading with some buddies and picking up some like DIYs and crafts and stuff like that. So if you want just a, you know, chill game where you don't have to really think about anything and just relax, this is the game for you. Next game on the list is a classic that got turned into a new TV series and that is Cobra Kai. I was going to debate on waiting on this, but when I saw people were starting to sell it like Cooking Mama online for like 70, 80 bucks and it was just going up, I picked it up from, I think it was Best Buy. I really wanted to play it. I didn't want to make sure that I have like enough money. And so I waited on Crash Bandicoot 4 to pick this up because I was like, I was debating and I needed to snag this one. And the last game that I do currently have that is... Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I haven't played it yet. Still trying to get through Breath of the Wild. I might just, you know, pop this in and crack it open and start playing it. But I definitely cracked it open. You know, seal's broken. But uh, I might just play... Mm, I might try Super Mario Sunshine. Seems more my, my uh, thing. Uh, Galaxy, I still get headaches from because of the spinning. So I might have to wait on that one. But... I'll do Sunshine first, then 64, and then go over to Galaxy and just give it a whirl. I mean, I don't have any of these games, so, yeah. Now, I am currently waiting for Jay and Silent Bob on the Switch. And I think there was another one on the Switch, but I can't remember from the limited run. And it's one of those things where... Just keep waiting! So hopefully I eventually get it, but thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe, and as always, keep on gaming, everybody. What are on your list of Nintendo Switch games that you are really currently into? I am into Animal Crossing Friday the 13th. I like Breath of the Wild. It's uh, taking a hold of me. I gotta get Age of Calamity for sure. So, what are you picking up next year for the Switch? I can't wait to see what you guys are gonna get. Ooh, give me ideas. My budget is gonna go crazy. <laughs> so, bye everybody.
Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games too.